Hello, my name's Jean and I'd like to welcome you today to my garden here at the Hunter's Trist in Edinburgh. Last year I took you on several tours of my garden at different times of the year to show you what was at its best at that point. The last one I did was in September when the garden was just beginning to go over a little bit and I promised you another one through the winter and I think this will probably be it. It finishes off the garden through the year quite nicely. It's been a bit of a wild winter and we've had far more snow than we would normally expect to have and there's been some damage done in the garden. So we'll have a look around the garden, see what there is to look at, see what damage there is and see what's looking really pretty just now. I think when there's not a lot going on in the garden you really value the things that are earning their money just now. Things like the hellebores and the crocuses and some of the new foliage looking really pretty. So sit back and enjoy. If you have seen my earlier garden tour videos you'll be familiar with this sweeping view of my garden and what's immediately obvious is the impact the evergreen shrubs and trees have on the winter garden. Maybe not the most exciting plants in the world, but definitely pulling their weight through the winter months. What's also pretty noticeable is how shabby the lawn looks. It certainly hasn't enjoyed being covered in so much snow, but it'll recover with a little TLC. Last year, I showed you the beautiful Choisia ternata covered with fragrant white blossom. You can see it in this picture. It was probably about 120 centimetres tall and wide, but then the snow came and the weight of it bent back the branches so much that I decided to cut it hard back. It will recover in time and in the meantime I've moved in two big pots with snowdrops and small acer bushes as placeholders until the choice here grows back. Similarly, this Fatsia japonica has struggled with the snow and so I'll cut it back soon too. These plants will recover, they just won't look their best for a year or two. But it's not all negative. My earliest flowering rhododendron, called Christmas Cheer, is almost in flower and the snowdrops, crocuses and hellebores are a very welcome sight. And these light green shoots belong to my white phlox and from as early as January they brighten up the dark earth quite noticeably. I know that I always rave about the Cornus midwinter fire but you can see why can't you? What a glow it gives! And the winter flowering pansies planted in October have made it through the winter and will carry on for another few months yet. But I think this little pale blue iris reticulata is probably my favourite this month. I do hope you enjoyed watching that video. Thank you very much for having a look around my garden again. I don't know what the future holds for opening my garden and visiting other people's gardens. We'll have to wait and see. But in the meantime, so nice to see you again. Bye bye.